Hi family, it's good that we are back together again. Um, so I want to wrap up the secret talk and I, I kind of want to bring it home and to show you how it is relevant to my experience. And I want to say that God has no favorites. He loves all of us passionately with equal passion and, and fervor. So he wants to share things with each of us in our various experiences so that we can benefit, you know. All right. Are you familiar with Psalm 25, 4? I think I might have mentioned that before. The text, the secret, the secret of the Lord is them is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. Now you think is my first Rima word and we are familiar with what a Rima word is, aren't we? It was given to me in April 2003. And it was Jeremiah 32, 40 and 41. I don't have time to read it. Maybe if you feel that like you could check it. But some serious, a serious message was in that for me. Um, and as time progressed and keeps progressing, it became and becomes totally relevant. Now, God whispers things in our, in our, our spiritual ears. You didn't know that you had spiritual ears. You most definitely do. You just have to make sure that you don't get them blocked up with any wax. <laughs> um, once they, once your ears are attuned to what God, you know, these things that God has to tell you, he will whisper his secrets um, to you. I am sure you must be familiar with the text that you will hear a word behind you saying, this is the way of walking in it. Obviously, it doesn't literally mean that you're going to hear somebody saying, don't go over there. No, but again, your spiritual ears, as long as they are tuned to listening to God, he will, he will share stuff with you. All right. Now, God spoke deeply into the privacy of my heart, as I know, I'm sure that he does with you. God spoke deeply into the privacy of my heart, some secrets. One was, he was going to keep me in perfect peace because he will help me to have my mind stayed on him and not on any difficulty. Now, that is part of the principle of, of not being incinerated by the heat. Psalm 23, 4 as well. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. God tells us we don't have to fear because he's with us. I am going to do a separate note dealing with fear because I tell you fear is one of the things that will cause people to burn up in the furnace. And Psalm 112 7 says, He does not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. You know, um, this fear thing is really something else. But God says to us, he says to you, he says to me, your heart can remain steadfast as you trust in me. And there, there are so many other texts, but I'm going to um, use this last one. Proverbs 32, 4 says, When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. So even when we come to go to our beds, when we come to go to sleep, you know, um, tension and fear and anxiety and stuff tend to afflict some people. <laughs> Just as they're going to bed or maybe they wake up in the night and they're anxious over something. But God says that he, he, can, he can save us from all of those um, debilitating emotions because, um, because that is exactly what they are. You know too that God checking my time. God whispers things to us too through providence. Like God told me a secret. And was it a secret? I was saying the secret because if it's a personal message to you, then it becomes God's secret to you, doesn't it? With that man coming in the house in prayer letter number five, go and have a look at prayer letter number five to worry or not to read. There was a distinct message in that one. As well as in prayer letter number eight, miracles and miracleettes. When I met that lady on the beach, that homeless lady like, if you have the book, look at that letter. There was a strong message in that for me. God's God was telling me a secret through both of those incidents. So family, we're going to pick up next time. And are you going to come back? I hope so. I'm going to be looking for you because next time we want to talk about fear.
and how fear can produce a whole lot of heat. All right, family, as always, it was good being with you. And again, if you are like, um, enjoying the videos, share them with someone. God bless. See you the next time.